Strategic planning, market research, group think tanks with touchscreen interactive systems, all perks for big corporate America, right? Well, not anymore. This morning, I'll take you inside a state-of-the-art lab open to anyone who wants to take it to the next level. I suspect all of you in one way or another work with planners. From top managers to employees in the trenches, companies big and small, even nonprofits, come to the Collaborative Labs epicenter at St. Pete College to take their vision to the next level. Everybody gets a chance to make a difference in that company, and so every type of company can come and experience this with us, but we also take this out to them as well. So we travel with this all over the United States. This state-of-the-art facility in Clearwater even comes complete with an on-site sketch artist. It's great for us nonprofits because we don't have a lot of cash on hand, but we can still get the same process going. The Homeless Empowerment Program in Clearwater came up with its new name at the Collaborative Labs and ways to better serve the homeless and our veterans with housing, food, and support services. We banged it out in here and, it, and we executed it and it worked. And it was a lot of work changing all of our contract language, our legal language, and everything, but now people love it. We also did our workforce program. We kind of launched this out of, out of here. We were talking about how we wanted to launch some kind of employment program. From from setting goals to the roadmaps to achieving them, a team of experts are on hand to help whomever steps into the lab. My goal ultimately is whatever we said success looked like, I need to make sure we got to it by the end of the day. All right, now check this out. This sketch artist mapped out a journey for me here at Channel 8, out there digging up local content and trying to help all of us create a work-life balance. So I thought that was kind of fun to have. Collaborative Labs is a non-for-profit, so if you want to explore it for yourself, just head to WFLA.com.